So for this pattern, we are going to need size I, or 5.5 millimeter hook, and then worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Michaels Impeccable yarn. And then what we do is we need to make a slip knot. So we just cross our yarn, and then we grab the yarn on the bottom and pull. Put our hook through. And now what we do is we chain two. So we bring our yarn over, chain one, yarn over, chain two. All right, and now we do 10 half double crochet in our second chain from the hook. So one, two, it's this one. So we yarn over, and then we put our hook through, and then we yarn over, and then we go through the hole, and then we yarn over, and we go through all three. Okay, that's one. Let's do another one. We yarn over, we're going to go through that same hole. Yarn over, and go through the hole, yarn over, go through all three stitches. That's two. One, two. And this is how you have double crochet. Eight, nine, here's our last one, ten, and this is how I count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, okay? Now, I'm just going to tighten it by the tail, pull on the tail. Round two, we two have double crochet in each stitch, so we're going to increase to 20. Okay, so we just start with our first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we go through both of those stitches like that. And that's one. And we're going to do go through the same hole or stitch. Yarn over, go through all three. That makes two. Let's do our next one. Three. Go through the same loop. Four. Okay, go through the next one. Five. Go through it again. Make six. So we have six so far. We need to get to 20, okay? Okay, so we have 20 stitches now. Now, since we're working in the round, I would get just a scrap yarn. A contrasting color would be nicer, but I can't find mine. So, this will do. Anyways, I just put it right there. And then let's start our round three, which is just half double crochet into each stitch. So we will still have 20. So I just finished and here is my scrap yarn. So if I do this next one, I know that it would be after this yarn. So I know this is where I stop. So I'm going to pull it out. We're going to start our round four, which is the same thing as round two. We are going to have double crochet into each stitch twice. Okay, and then now we are going to join with our first half double crochet. So we just slip stitch. We go through it, bring our yarn through it as well, and we go through this one. And that is how you do slip stitch. So we, we don't need this one anymore, so you can pull it out. 
Now for round five, we are going to chain one, and then we single crochet in the same stitch that we joined, so our first stitch. Yarn over. Okay, so with this one, sorry, we don't yarn over first. We go through our stitch, then we yarn over, go through it again, then we yarn over and we go through these two stitches. And that's how you single crochet. We skip two stitches, one, two, and then we come here. And this is when we do our shell stitch. We do three double crochet, so we yarn over just like a half double crochet. And we go through. And we yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the last two. Okay, and we do it again. Go through the first two, go through the last two. One more time. First two, last two. And then we do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and then a double crochet at the end. All in the same stitch. Okay? And then we skip the next two stitches, so one, two, and then we single crochet in the next one. And then we skip the next two, one, two, and then we're gonna work in here and do the shell stitch again. So three double crochet. And then we do a single crochet. Half double crochet. And then a double crochet. Skip two, single crochet. And then we skip two, and then we start with the shell stitch once again. All right, do this all the way to the end of the round. So this is the end of round five, right? Now I need this one to go all the way to here, okay? One, two, three, four on the fifth. So we skip four, and then we're going to do our single crochet. And I'm going to put my yarn, <laughs> right here so I know that this was the first one that I did and this is the last one that I did. You skip the next three stitches so one, two, three and so we go on the top of this the point of the shell and we single crochet and then we skip the next two stitches one, two and then this is when we do our shell again so on the bottom Double crochet, one single crochet, and then a half, and then a double, and then we one, two, three, skip the next three stitches, and we single crochet at the top of this one, and then we skip the next two, one, two, and this is when we do our shell stitch. Okay, so just keep repeating this till the end. Okay, so do you see my yarn? That tells me that this is where I started last time. Okay, I just ended my round six with a single crochet on the top right. So instead of doing the joining and everything, we're just going to have it not have a seam because that joining and everything makes a little seam, which you can't tell very much with this pattern, but still. I don't see the point. I think it's better to just keep it going. But just make sure that you're keeping track of which, I mean, where you start your round so that you'll know when to end a complete round at the very end, right? Okay, we are going to do what we've been doing, right? After we single crochet on the point, we're going to skip the next two stitches, so one, two, and then we do our shell stitch. Which is three double crochet.
and then a single crochet then a half double crochet and then a double crochet and then we skip the next three stitches. So one, two, three, and then we're right here. One, two, three, and then we go here, single crochet. And then we skip the next two. One, two, and do our shell stitch. All right? So keep repeating round six and seven. We'll just keep repeating this shell stitch pattern until your piece measures five and a half inches or however long you need yours. Okay? Okay, so mine is the length that I need and I actually went, because I'm done, right? It had a little bit of a space, so I did a another shell stitch. And I don't wanna leave it like that, right? So I went past where my beginning round is and then I'm gonna go and do the single crochet. So one, two, three, and I go right here. Okay, and that is what the edging looks like. If you wanna keep it like that, you can, and just finish off. Pull it out, cut it, and then weave your ends in, or you can do an edging. You can make it half double crochet, or single crochet, whatever you want. So, you just go through, go around the whole piece of your work. Throw all of these stitches, just single crochet, and it'll make a nice border. But either way is fine, it just depends on if you want it to go up and down like this, which is pretty, or if you just kind of want it more straight. Okay? And then pick out the flower. I have this flower I really like. If you look in the description bar, it will show you the link to go to make this flower and other flowers as well that I recommend. It looks so cute. 